about 1760, and a uh, neat place, but uh, Rosemary Clooney, uh, she was from, uh, is from Maysville, Kentucky. She died a few years ago. Yeah. Yep. Really a grand old lady. we got a caller. Go ahead, caller. Hello, fellas. It's Saul. I was just listening to that beautiful music. Is that, that's a relative of Norm's? Yeah, yeah. can you believe it? Yeah, we're, we're, we're all shocked. <laughs> <laughs> he looks just like me. Yeah, 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 he sure does. does. Norm? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, Norm, uh, Norm's got some famous, uh, have famous relatives. Yeah, I'm working on one. My granddaughter's a, a big time at, in college. See, there's a drama doing? lady. Norman is a, uh, he's a, he's a uh, artiste. Yeah. 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 So he you are very talented, sir. He yeah. 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 He's an artiste. So. Well, I've always, I've always thought he has been an artist since I've heard him on your show, so I, that doesn't well, surprise me. But, <laughs> fellas, I, I wanted to get back a little bit, too, about that, uh, you know, the old... Uh, uh, carry and conceal. Uh, I just went down to Melbourne Beach, Florida, and I stayed at the wonderful 157 Riverside Avenue Inn, and I saw William Shatner there, my wife Trixie and I, and I gotta tell you, he was quite a jerk, and oh, I had some Priceline material, yes, and I thought it would be is. ironic if he would sign it, and he just, he refused to autograph my Priceline information, he was rude, so Finally, I asked him if he had a phaser stuck up his butt. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, I said, he's yes. talking about carrying yeah. conceal. I think Captain yeah. might have one up there. He didn't like that so much. And, I mean, he called me a sizzle chest and a rubberneck. I don't know what those words mean. But, uh, uh, we got to get going here on this uh, carrying conceal stuff. You know, it's, it's very hurtful. This All this subject matter gives me a series of gallbladder attacks so much. What are these people thinking in our legislature? We're not going to stop this. Uh, well, no, and of course the, the criminals already do that, so it doesn't matter. You know, they're going to carry concealed yeah. anyway, or however they want to. It's just, it, it just insane. I mean, it gives me a giant ass on my chest. That's what it feels like. These guys are sure. nuts. Now we know what a chisel chest is. That's Maybe that's it. Chisel chest. <laughs> is it chisel? Chisel. Chisel or chisel, whatever it is, Jess. He, oh, he, called, well, you a, he called you a chisel. chisel a rubberneck. A rubberneck. A rubberneck, too. Yes, it's like these little, and it's like Captain Kirk. It's like I watched your show back in the 60s. Give me a break, you know. Uh, you know, uh, you know they're, they're, most of those actors are, yeah. are, you know, I have met some that are common as, a, you know, I'll tell, you, down there I'll tell you that you know the guy, the one that uh, played Magnum, P.I. Uh, oh, yeah. What's his I'll name? Don 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 yeah, Rich, Rich has met him, and he's a real regular McCoy. Yeah. Oh, well, yes. If, you, if you've seen the uh, Jesse Stone yes. uh, movies that he does, he's he's very much a straight shooter and knows, and I think that's his real persona from what I've read. Yeah. Yeah. He's, exactly. more, he's more than a, a straight shooter in, in right. other terms. Yeah, 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 because, he, because he, uh, well, he's on the board of the uh, NRA. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, because uh, he likes firearms. You know, people won't give him acting jobs and stuff. And that's like that. disgusting. Well, you know, he did a uh, A and E program here a few years ago, and it was uh, it, he played General Eisenhower. Oh yeah, he, I've he, got that. I've got that. Beautiful. And it's oh, it's outstanding. It's out. He yeah. is such a good actor, and like you said, yeah. he probably doesn't get parts. But uh, oh, I'll tell you. You know, this morning we were sitting around too. Uh, my my wife and I came back to Peoria here from after we left Melbourne Beach, and we've been staying with uh, my niece Mary and her kids Julie and Tim, and it's pretty good, but. Mary has this rooster, and every morning at daybreak, it cries, cock a doodle doo cock a doodle doo <laughs> And I fear it was coming to peck us, and I, I would like to have a, a concealed weapon for this rooster. I, I don't understand why crazy Mary has this rooster at our house, but, you know, if I had, if I had anything with me on, I would, I would have to shoot at the rooster. And well, that's why, well, you know, I that's call right. that uh, chicken fricassee. <laughs> That's why they call her Crazy Mary, because she's got a rooster. <laughs> oh, she's, she's a crazy fool, I must say. Oh, Norm, too. Now, Mary's mom, Poof, tells me a story of what a rascal you were as a child. Uh, she said that her brother, George, and you might have been paper boys. What was his name? George, their last name is Selberg. Oh, sure. Yeah, well, here's the story guy. that uh, Mary's mom, Poof, says, when you two were, you aggravated George, because you would open his bundles and mess up oh, his papers. I really tormented George. You know, yeah, really, yeah. I did. And it was really sad because he's one of the nicest guys yeah, in the world. Yeah. It's a wonder, all the stuff that Norm, I'm sure some of the stuff, the statute of limitations I will never so. be up on. Oh, maybe. We might just call the Peoria Police Department and have arrested him. I really loved George. He, <laughs> he was, and he married a very beautiful lady, and, and uh, I, I don't know, I, could, I should write about George, you know, but I'm not going to. In fact, I have a lot of friends that say, you're not going to write about that, are you, Norm? Uh, I have lawyers, because I was in the... Why don't you, you get know, money from them to not write about them? Well, how do you watch, 
<laughs> Why do you think I live so high on the hall? <laughs> oh, now we know the rest of the story. Yeah, the black is all going here. I think, oh, yeah. I spent yeah, 18 yeah, years in that bar. I would tell Coach that this was a true story mm-hmm. and that uh, you did torment George, did. but I can't believe it. Not with the talent you yeah, have you in your know, family, Norm. You did the same thing to Ralph Bear. He's just died. And his family invited me to the graveside rites, which I thought was very nice. And so when I met them, I said, are you sure you want me here? Because <laughs> I, I did torment your dad quite a bit, you know. I'll tell you one quick story. Crepe, crepe paper, right? Yeah, well, sure. it was Halloween night at Woodrow Wilson School. Of course, we always turned the lights off. Didn't torment the hell out. So anyway, we're down hiding in the men's restroom, soaking the black and the orange crepe paper. And who was the first person to come in was Ralph, poor Ralph. And of course, we put that all over his face and then ran out. And, then, and now, of course, he turns on the lights and looks in the mirror, poor guy. And to think that that family invited me to come to his church. <laughs> well, so maybe even more crepe paper, no? Yeah, no. no idea. Yeah. But we, we love to just torment. I can't even tell you what we did, what we put on. You know the master switch that pulls the lights? Yeah, sure. Well, oh, yeah. We would go in there, and I, I'm just going to try to make this as family-oriented, and put cert- something on the master switch. You get up. Uh, uh, we turn off the light and had a little pin light, and then put the stuff on the master switch. So when actually when the board members would come up griping and screaming, they would reach up right and turn the lights on. Yes. And we were watching. You were one evil little we were, dude, weren't we, you? We just, you know what? Just, just a lot of things were going through my mind about yeah, what you put meaning. on there. But I finally <laughs> come to the form <laughs> the meaning. Yeah. You're right. I know, no uh, kidding. Oh, yeah. well, that's well, well, at least that's that 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 would send you to a special school for your yeah. activities. Yeah. 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 You know what? Be so funny you were there now. Juvenile, uh, I may be the only kid that was kicked out of Boy Scouts the very first night. That's true. Absolute truth. Really? I didn't know we had this uh, villain with us. I was yeah, just criminal intent. Well, you know, yeah. my, <laughs> my friends call me Sam, and I had a, a, a Sam's gang, and we'd go over to Newman Golf Course, steal golf balls right off the greens, oh. and you know what we had? I played, that's a, that's a, and that's what you're still playing with today. <laughs> I, yeah, I played, I played uh, baseball for Nags Coal Company, and of course, you know, we didn't couldn't have t-shirts or anything so once everybody got a t-shirt their mom bought then of course i went over to uh newman and we took the flags guys and you know one through 18 well we only took nine i thought that was nice mm-hmm. and then and then our gate we cut those out and gave them to our mothers who sold them on nobody ever asked any questions and what well, number do you think i did that norm you know the last nine. 10 kids did that they brought guns to you from what i understand yeah. and, uh, i got number one folks oh. believe you me but we oh. were you know i don't think we really really hurt people but we tormented them. You used the perfect word. Yeah, I, I remember that actually. Didn't a couple of thugs go on the golf course and try to rob people? My like friend. Yeah, yeah, a couple absolutely. years ago or something. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, we heard the stories all the way back in right. the East. They were, yeah. you know, we read it when I read the journal. Rob Bear's not a golf course. They took people. guns on the golf course and actually no, robbed a couple well, of golf if you, if you know the golf course in number 14, that's where I grew up right there. Now, where are you from, mm-hmm. uh, New York or Jersey? Oh, I'm back in Peoria right now. I actually, if we talk about, I, I think the end of December when we were talking about this uh, yeah. conceal and carry, and yes, and, and I live in uh, Bucks County, Pennsylvania, oh, just yeah. right across the river from Jersey. And I grew up here though for uh, until I was about 12. But you know that was a long time ago. We were kind of talking. You guys were were quizzing me about Bucks County last time, and it's still the same. Uh, they. They uh, they they have it in law there, but as you know, but they they still think we're all a bunch of uh, the shooters over here who just want to go out and have cowboys fights on the street and be all silly with guns, and that's not the case here. They're just I don't understand. It's we're the only Illinois is the only state with that, right? That's it. The only one. That's it. It's in, no, I, I don't know. It's just like I say. It, 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 we we have the perfect, the sizzle chest is back here again every time I think about this stuff. <laughs> Yeah. Oh uh, well, Norm. Like I say, it's good to know. And proof is correct on yeah. the statements. And I'll Absolutely. tell Crazy Mary to put that rooster away. But you fellas have a nice day, okay? All right. All right. So see you, buddy. Thanks for bye bye. You bet. So we shot. We.